morning ladies very warm welcome to shama online cooking class and today we are making mango and coconut jelly as you know plenty of the mangoes varieties of the mangoes are in the market so i thought let go with the mango jelly and we are preparing our mango jelly first here for mango jelly i'm using 1 cup of mango pulp fresh mango is in a market so you can take one mango here i have got one and half mango pulp and i have sieve it with a strainer and take this plain mango pulp one cup with this i'm using one and half cup of water One fourth cup of sugar. I'm using here half teaspoon, so I will use two times so one teaspoon of agar agar. This is vegetarian jelly, and it is available in a superstore. Now mix them well and switch on your cook and cook it till it comes 4 to 5 boils stir it constantly keep your eye here otherwise agar agar will sit at the bottom of the pot and it will destroy the taste of your recipe now we are cooking till 4 to 5 boils and then i'm switching off the flame and transferring this liquid in a setting pot i have this glass pot and i am transferring this whole mixture in the pot allow it to cool down till 30 minutes after 30 minutes we are preparing our coconut mixture and then pour it on this so meanwhile our mango jelly will set in a pot meanwhile our dessert is setting we are moving to our fish uh, usually first we are serving main course and then dessert but today we have to save over time as well so i have prepared some of the, uh, some part of our dessert and now we are moving to fish so for fish i have two fillets of cod fish it's a very mild and full of omega 3 vitamin b c D and E, and it is very very helpful to our body and skin as well. It improves our tissues health and help you to improve your immune system. With our fish fillets, we are serving coconut rice, and I have taken here half cup of rice, and this is small grain rice, and soaked for thirty minutes in one cup of water. So I am keeping this straight on a flame. I have half cup of rice soaked. For 30 minutes in one cup of water, and this is going on a flame. I'm switching on flame, and I have full the flame of our cooker, and I'm using here half cup of coconut milk. One teaspoon of salt, or less than. Mix well. And let our rice cook. When it start to boil, we will slow our flame to low. And now we are coming to fish. And here, I'm seasoning our fish with salt, sea salt, some garlic flakes, and chili flakes. I'm seasoning here both the side. Freshly crushed paper corn, half a teaspoon. I 
after seasoning our fish I am switching on my flame and adding 2 tablespoons of olive oil and I have added here 1 teaspoon of uh, garlic mince in the oil so we want the taste of garlic as well meanwhile we are coming here I have 1 tablespoon of all purpose flour here and 1 tablespoon of cornstarch I am going to coat this fish with this cornstarch and all purpose flour nicely so we can give very nice crispy texture and golden to our fish take out all excess flour and straight grain like oil I'm taking out excess flour and this fish is going in oil pour our lemon butter sauce to make it creamy and little bit body to bind it we are using here one teaspoon of cornstarch and i have added here three tablespoon of water with that i am using freshly crushed paper corn half a teaspoon and half a teaspoon of salt garlic and chili flakes and this slurry is ready to go in our fish here I am lowering the flame of our rice and cover it and cook it for 10 minutes our fish is fried here and now we are making our lemon butter soup for this I am using our slurry here first I am adding slurry in fish there's a different region and different method and different technique people are using some people are using white wine with the fish some are using um, cider vinegar i'm using the apple cider vinegar one tablespoon but my daughter says i don't want to eat with the apple cider vinegar so you can omit if you don't want the taste of uh, vinegar then you can make without vinegar as well first i'm adding here slurry with slurry i'm using half a cup of water instead of white wine to give a twist of our chives i'm using one teaspoon of chopped freshly chopped chives with that i'm using here two tablespoons of butter as our sauce name is butter so butter is the main ingredients of our sauce with that I'm using lemon so here I'm using lemon zest and lemon juice as well so first go with the zest be careful we want only our lemon yellow part not the white one mix everything well and let our sauce get cooked with our fish so all masala and spice is binding with each other and giving nice texture to our sauce and taste to fish we will cook this for five minutes on low to medium flame Do not disturb fish otherwise it will be broken. Just stir it like this so all sauce and all ingredients mix with each other and combine nicely. And now we are waiting for only 5 minutes and then our fish is ready to serve with coconut rice and some salad. And here our rice is ready as well. We are keeping here rice like lumpy. We don't want a rice like curry we are eating. I'm keeping here lumpy rice. You can use small grain or any Spanish rice, Thailand rice, or you can use herbal rice. And if you don't have anything, you have a small grain rice at home, or you can use long grain rice. But the texture should be like sausage, lumpy. So I'm switching off of the flame of our rice and now it's time to serve our rice and fish 
so here our recipe is ready fried fish with lemon butter sauce and coconut rice served with a salad so hope you have enjoyed thoroughly and hope you make this at home and please share your pictures when you are making at home thank you After 30 minutes of our mango mixture is set now, clean and I have placed empty pot here. In our pot I am using one cup of coconut milk, one and a half cup of water, again same proportion. 1 teaspoon, this is half teaspoon, so I'm using two times. Agar agar and one fourth cup of sugar. Mix very well and cook it till four to five boiled cones and then switch off the flame and again we are pouring in our mango mixture. So we have two layers, yellow and white. Our coconut mixture start to boil here and we have boiled it for four to five boil and now I'm switching off the flame. Stir it for a while till steam comes out and slowly we are taking our pot to our mango mixture. I'm pouring coconut mixture on mango layer slowly pour it keep this mixture to set it down you have to keep for two hours and after two hours it's ready to serve I have let it settle our jelly in a fridge for two hours and take it out cut it and served in a dish hope all you have enjoyed thoroughly and our mango and coconut jelly is ready to serve thank you for watching